Kaur and welcome to my YouTube channel The Enlightened Room. In this video we are going to study about the limitations or you can say the drawbacks of Dalton's Atomic Theory. Well Dalton's Atomic Theory was discovered by John Dalton in the year 1808. John Dalton was an English scientist. He had discussed various postulates related to the atoms, related to the nature of matter in this theory. He had also told us about the law of conservation of mass, law of constant proportions and he later on modified this theory and this is the modified atomic theory of John Dalton's and in this he had also gave us knowledge about law of multiple proportions. So what is this modern atomic theory or you can say also the limitations or drawbacks of atomic theory? We will start with the first postulate here. In the first one they have said atom is no longer considered as the smallest indivisible particle. Yes, that is true. Why? Well, in the atomic theory he had said uh, atom is indivisible. It cannot be divided. But later on some scientific researches made it, made it conclude that atom can be divided. So it is not an indivisible particle. So there are other smallest particles which are even smaller than atom and those particles are electron, proton, neutron. So this one violates the Dalton's atomic theory. This point violates the Dalton's atomic theory. So atom can be divided and it can be divided into proton, electron and neutron and certain more Researches are being made, scientific advancements are being made to even prove that these three are not smallest. That means there are some particles that are even smaller than electron, proton and neutron but that is not the part of this theory. Okay? The second one says that atoms of the same element may have different masses. Well yes, let us assume we have chlorine. There are two types of atoms of chlorine. In the one, they have atomic mass of 35 and in the other one, they have atomic mass of 37. So this one is an atom of the same element having same atomic number, atomic number of 17 as chlorine has atomic number of 17, same atomic number but different mass number on the atomic scale okay and these are known as isotopes okay so here we got to know about the isotopes in the third one they have said that atoms of different elements may have same masses well this one is quite different in the second one we had said atoms of the same element may have different masses in the third one they have said atoms of the different elements may have same masses. Let us take an example of potassium and calcium. Sorry, calcium. They have same atomic mass. Uh, uh, sorry, they have same mass number uh, that is 40. But their atomic number is different. That means atoms of the different elements that have same mass number but different atomic number. And those kinds of atoms are known as isobars. So here we get to know about the isobars. We got to know about two different terms, new terms. Okay. So in the fourth one, in the fourth drawback or limitation they have said, substances made up of same kind of atoms may have different properties. Here we can take the example of Graphite, diamond, and charcoal. <coughs> well, these three are made of carbon, right? Graphite, diamond, and charcoal are made of carbon, but these three have different properties especially different physical properties. Diamond is unbreakable, but we cannot break these two. Char even charcoal can be powdered, right? So they have different properties. So this one proves that substances that are made up of 
same kind of atoms, these three are made up of same kind of atoms that is carbon, have different properties and that is true in this case. So this one violates the Dalton's atomic theory, okay. So in the last one they have said the ratio in which the different atoms combine to form compound may be fixed and integral but may not simple. Well, this one is related to the law of constant proportions. How? Let us take an example of sugar molecule and the formula of sugar molecule is C12H22O11. Am I right? Well, if I am wrong, please, please let me know. Okay. So, the ratio in which the different co atoms combine. Now, these three atoms have been combined in the ratio 12 ratio, 22 ratio, 11. Right? So they have made a compound that is sugar molecule. Now this ratio is fixed. This ratio is integral. But it is not simple. It is complex. Okay. So this one also violates the Dalton's atomic theory. And this one also tells us about the law of multiple proportions. Right. So these five points lead us to a new theory that is known as modern atomic theory. So we have, we just have studied about the modern atomic theory. So this one is all about today's video. For more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much.